previously yeah. we have uh, configured the all those withholding tax configurations and all and uh, you have seen the postings dds entry and the next one is uh, you have also uh, solved the different types of errors I mean, uh, that was coming from the withholding tax configurations only. Huh. Today, I'm going to discuss about the goods and service taxes. This is an introduction class. Tomorrow, uh, we will have a configuration class only. OK, so before you move to the configurations class, so you have to know the uh, what is uh, exact meaning of the goods and service tax and uh, uh, when it has came to the picture. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, in which date it has come into the picture. That is very, very important. See, you know what? Uh, I mean, goods and service taxes are applicable in India from July 1st, 2017 onwards. Here, they have introduced the two types of taxes. One is input tax and another one is output tax. I mean, these are the main important uh, taxes and in that we will have intrastate tax, interstate tax, and the next one is RCM, reverse change mechanism tax, we can call it as. Uh, the first thing is here, input tax means uh, the taxes on purchases of goods or services. Then next one, output tax means the taxes on sales of goods or services. This is very, very important. Hmm, So, ah, one more thing I have to tell you. The thing is, before 2017, VAT, uh, I mean, VAT tax was there. I mean, after 2017, VAT tax has gone. And in instead of the VAT tax, so they have introduced the, uh, I mean, this GST, goods and service tax, right? Yes, yes, sir. Hmm. So, the goods and service tax uh, uh, until July 2017, first input tax and the represent purchases of goods. Then next, output tax and the sales of goods may represent See, the, uh, we don't know the percentage right now. How we can uh, change the percentage? So, how we can give the percentage? I mean, uh, Yourself only, you cannot give the percentage, right? In the SAP system, you are not the responsible person, right? So the responsible person is client. Based on the client information only, so uh, we will give the percentages. I mean, this is totally related to the uh, Indian projects only. Okay, so when it comes to the foreign, they will have different uh, uh, tax codes and they will have different, uh, um, <clears throat> I mean, configurations, right? I mean, we will also do that one, but in India, uh, we do the configurations for the GST only. OK, um, so do you want to learn the or do you want to know the uh, what is the GST percentage rates right now? OK, you can just go to the Google and you can search it for the. <coughs> huh. See, you can just come back. Right now in India, yeah, this one only. Right now in India, GST rate for various goods and services is divided into four types. Slaps, slaps, we can call it as a slap for slaps also. Uh, they are 6 percentage, 12 percentage, 18 percentage, 28 percentage. Right, uh, I mean, uh, well, uh, I mean, let me see. I mean, list of uh, latest goods and services. You could choose a list of uh, ah, open J first one. No issue. Huh. <coughs> yes. Ah, yeah. This is COVID related essentials and present GST rate. So present GST rate is how much? 12 percentage, right? And revised uh, GST rates, revised GSR monthly, uh, how much that is 5 percentage, right? So, based on the uh, central government processes, okay, I mean tax collection processes, it will change. Uh, generally, the tax coll collection processes may be differ uh, from country to country, right? And according to the government uh, uh, policy only, uh, and the revenue resources only, it levels the tax on goods. 
okay central government levies the tax on goods that is purchasing raw material and selling the material ikkada chudu covid related essentials and uh, we are in the covid uh, what we can say we are in the covid situations right so when you are in the covid situations so we have to buy all these pulse meters hand sanitizers equipment to check what temperatures on all so for this only the central government so the central government is levying the tax what is the tax is uh, what is the tax right now here 12 percentage is the present gst rate and revised they have revised that uh, gst rate that is 5 percentage okay so this is this gst rate is divided into two parts one is cgst and another one is esgst cgst is how much 2.5 percent and sgst means how much um, 2.5 percentage total is 5 percentage right so uh, when you are uh, doing the configurations for the gst you have to know the exact percentage from the client so based on the client information only so you will try to uh, insert that rates into the uh, sap system right so that is very very important based on the client information only manam em cheyali anante పర్సెంటేజెస్ ఉంటాయి కదా ఆ పర్సెంటేజెస్ అనేవి ఇక్కడ పెట్టాలన్నమాట అదర్వైజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ అట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫర్ యూ టు గివ్ ద ఐ మీన్ ఇఫ్ యూ గివ్ ఇండివిజువల్లీ యాజ్ యువర్ చాయిస్ ఓన్లీ యూఆర్ గివింగ్ రైట్ ఐ మీన్ ఇఫ్ యూ గివ్ దట్ పర్సెంటేజ్ యాజ్ యువర్ చాయిస్ డెఫినెట్లీ ఇట్ విల్ ఇంపాక్ట్ ద ఎస్ఎఫ్ఏ సిస్టమ్ సో డోంట్ డూ దట్ ఫోన్ టేక్ అవుట్ ది జిఎస్టి రేట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ద క్లైన్ యూ కెన్ అనాలిసిస్ ఓకే సో this is uh, uh, about the gst i mean what is the input tax and what is the output tax okay yeah so this is about the input and output tax uh, uh, ranjit okay you can just open okay. the gst configurations ha uh, huh. see here we will have uh, uh, different condition types and check and change settings for tax processing different processes assign country to calculation processes koncha pakka go chesa go slide ki vellu go ikkada slide ki vellu ha different tax codes for sales and purchases create gl accounts input tax and output tax a different tax accounts modify purchases and sales account see the basic thing is uh, we have to focus on the condition types and also tax processing so here we will have transaction code right that is obyz ha huh. obyz will be there right yes sir no, okay let's start the first slide ha huh. obyz ha uh, obyz is a uh, defined condition types right uh, see why we need to use the condition types condition types means what so condition types are used uh, to define the uh, what we can say input tax and output tax okay so what are the input tax and output tax sgst input tax will be there sgst output tax will be there i mean for the purchases sgst input will be there right and for the sales sgst output will be there then next step a cgst input will be there cgst output will be there igst input will be there igst output will be there u to gst union territory goods and service tax suppose you take the example of goa goa is a union territory right and they levy the tax on, based on the union territories also i mean uh, tax will be decreased i think so i mean uh, tax yes. decreased based on the uh, areas only uh, like uh, in in andhra pradesh that is anam now will be there right yeah ut has separate provision yeah so then uh, union territory has also different uh, types of uh, uh, taxes okay that is uh, uh, we will have all these uh, uh, i mean uh, taxes in sap system also okay that is ut gst input ut gst output so reverse change mechanism reverse change mechanism means here that is applicable on the purchase of goods or services if we purchase goods from non registered vendor 
then RCM will be applicable. Reverse change mechanism will not be applicable in the uh, for the customers, right? Uh, only that is only applicable for the purchases of goods that is related to the vendor only. So if we purchase the goods from non-registered vendor, then RCM will be applicable. So that is very very important, uh, Ranjit. And uh, uh, the next uh, term is IGST, right? What yes. do you mean by IGST? Interstate Goods and Service Tax. Suppose you are living in the Pune, right? So in the Pune, so screen sharing has stopped. I think so. Yes, yes, Allah. Uh, oh, sorry, open your end. Uh, no issue. So I will continue with the IGST. Uh, interstate goods and service tax. Interstate goods and service tax means the basic thing is here. This is interstate tax. If we sale or purchase of goods or services with another state of customers or vendors, then it will be applicable. It means sellers and purchases, right? Both are in different state and then it will be applicable. CGST and ICST. Okay, uh, see Ranjit, I will give you the basic example. You are in the Pune, right? And yes. um, you want to buy the goods from the Hyderabad. When you buy the goods from the Hyderabad, okay, so this is the interstate goods service transactions, right? Inter interstate goods service transactions. So in that scenario, IGST will be applicable. Then um, we will have intrastate, okay, if we sell or purchase of goods from uh, or services with the same state of customer or vendors, then only it will be applicable. That means uh, that is intrastate tax. Now you are in the Pune state, right? And you are buying the goods, uh, like uh, which which goods that is uh, uh, you have bought one uh, AC. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, what is that air conditioner, right? Then yes. they levy the tax on the air conditioner. When they levy the uh, tax on the air conditioner, okay, we can call it as a intrastate tax. CGST will be different. I mean, central goods service tax will be different, right? Uh, intrastate goods service tax is very, very important. Okay, so that is very, very important right now, Ranjit. Uh, Every every state ki every country ki different different types of uh, taxes hunde. Avan ni ande okak samanya maina vendor me uh, sorry okak samanya maina prajal me dekha dar pade di. Inni inni service taxes save the hunde avan ni okak common man ne kada bear chesi di common man business ne chesi. Varai na every na goose konna valu valle kada bear chesi also ni. So oh. that is very very important Ranjit. Uh, then next one is uh, <coughs> we will have union territory uh, GST, right? Huh. Union yes. territory goods and service tax. It means the sellers and purchases both are in same state. Okay, both are in same same state, and that state is under union territory. Then uh, the tax will be applicable. Okay. Uh, the next one I have to say that uh, we will have more important points here. The first one is uh, deductible tax and the next one is non deductible tax and uh, we will have uh, non deductible tax in RCM also. OK, I, I will give you the clear cut information. I mean in the interview only they will going to ask you Ranjit the different types of questions when it comes to the deductible tax, non deductible tax, uh, RCM all. And they will tell you questions about the entry score. So, purchasing material chase na pudu. What is a goods receipt and invoice receipt? Are they FI to MM integration, FI to ST integration? What's not put GST code involved? Why you don't get that? No, 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 purchase chase to know. Are the goods receipt to Niki chase to do? Sorry, goods receipt and edit and the grip at control. Ever. Vendor the group at the invoice uh, receipt. Uh, okay, okay. What well, is the interest? How the interest will be? One clear cut information on the 
నేర్చుకుందాం ఇక్కడ బట్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు ఫోకస్ ఆన్ ది డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ కన్ఫిగరేషన్స్ ఓకే సో దే విల్ గో ఇన్ ఆన్స్ ఐ మీన్ ఆల్ దోస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఇన్ కన్ఫిగరేషన్స్ ఓన్లీ సో వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఫీల్డ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ ఫీల్డ్ దే విల్ ఆస్ ఓకే బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ది రియల్ టైమ్ సినారీస్ ఓన్లీ దే విల్ ఆస్ ఐ విల్ జస్ట్ ఫినిష్ దిస్ క్లాస్ విత్ ఇన్ ఫైవ్ మినిట్స్ ఓన్లీ and i have to mention two points the first point is deductible tax it carries the rate of gst the basic thing is i mean it means we will take input as a credit okay then next one is non deductible tax it is not carry the rate of gst okay and it means we will not take input credit so we will take output as a credit is it correct yes so no sorry sorry we will not take the output here also uh, input will be the debit one not the credit one okay so this is about the deductible tax and non deductible tax when it comes to the rcm reverse change mechanism only i will tell you the uh, exact one so i have already explained you about the reverse change mechanism right so if we purchase the boost or sell the boost on registered to the store then rcm uh, uh, go, uh, a good service tax will be applicable rcm good service tax anedi kuda applicable avutundi ranjit ante non registered vendor daggarku vachinappudu ante vendor anedi register kaaled anko nu roju invoices ni post chestha untav kada fb60 lo vendor aa vendor only non registered vendor aithe so appudu chinde correct hmm this is about the introduction class of uh, G- goods and service tax and okay so <coughs> we will do the configurations of the gst okay ma okay.